I'm Mrs. Doris Wachiansa, the principal for Mampon Technical College of Education. I'm Perpetua Emajemfi, currently the vice principal of Mampon Technical College of Education. Mampon Technical College of Education is an all-male college located in Mampon, Ashanti. Our core values are excellence, discipline, innovation, creativity, and service. The vision of the college is to become an outstanding technical college of education comparable to any top niche tertiary institution in the world. The college was established in 1922 by the colonial governor Sir Gordon Gorgesbeck as a trade school. It was changed to a Buster Institute or Boys Correction Home from 1937 to 1941. The then colonial masters in 1941 used it as an army camp at the outbreak of the Second World War till 1945. In the past 100 years, there has been 22 principal. The first principal of the college was Lieutenant Colonel J. Christopher from 1922 to 1924. The second principal was Captain Bennett from 1924 to 1935. Captain Bernasco took over from Colonel Bennett from 1935 to 1939. Major Bernasco came after Captain Bernasco in 1939 to 1941. The next principal was Major Sawyer from 1941 to 1945. After the war, the government converted it into a government trade school from 1945 until 1967. From 1945 to 1950, Mr. R.W. Ashworth became the principal for the college. Mr. A. A. Jones took over from Mr. Ashworth in 1950 and ended in 1955. Mr. H. E. Collier acted as principal from 1955 to 1956. Mr. Otu Adams succeeded Mr. Collier from 1956 to 1957. Mr. F.T. Humphreys took over as acting principal from Mr. Otto Adams in 1957 to 1958. Mr. T.T. T. Morris took over from Mr. Humphreys in 1958 and ended in 1960 as the college principal. Mr. W.J. Mary became the principal of the college from 1960 to 1970. In 1967, it was further upgraded into Handicraft Teachers Institute. The name was changed to Technical Teachers Institute in 1969. Captain F.W. Micah took over from 1970 to 1975. And then in 1976, the name was changed again to Technical Teachers College. Mr. Solomon Ade succeeded Captain Micah from 1975 to 1977. Mr. T. Ofe came after Mr. Solomon Ade from 1977 to 1979. Mr. Joe Alex Ofer became the principal for the college from 1979 to 1998, making him the longest serving principal for 19 years. Mr. Bettinus Bagman took over from Mr. Joe Alex Ofer in 1998 as an acting principal to the year 2000. Mr. L. Y. Amuzu took over office as principal from Mr. Bettinus Bagman in 1999 
in the year 2000 and stayed on until 2007. After Mr. L.Y. Amuzu came our first female principal in the person of Madame Margaret Opoku. From the year 2007 to 2013. Reverend Dr. Nweko Avotri took over as principal of the college from Madame Margaret Opoku from the year 2013 to the year 2018. In the year 2018, Reverend Dr. Nweko Avotri handed over the principalship of the college to me, who was the then vice principal of the college, as an acting principal. In the year 2019, I handed over to the current principal, Mrs. Doris Wachiansa, who is still at post. The current student population stands at 1,737, comprising 489 first-year students, 484 second-year students, 395 third-year students, and 369 four-year students. The current staff strength of the college stands at 131. We have teaching staff of 41 and non-teaching staff of 90, including the principal and the vice principal. The college operates six departments, namely mathematics and ICT, languages, technical and vocational, science, art and social sciences, and education. College also has a library, two ICT labs, science laboratory which includes physics, biology and chemistry. We also have technical workshops which includes a metal workshop, wood workshop, construction, electronic workshop. We have a visual art studio, fashion and design center and a 10 acre oil palm plantation and a resource center. Technical education remains the major focus of the college. Currently, the, the college is affiliated to UEW. However, the students admitted in 2017-2018 academic year shall continue to remain under UCC until the completion of their program. I must say the college has made some modest achievements under our past principals. Notable among them are the facilitation of institutional accreditation of the college as a tertiary institution. Currently, our achievement in academics includes the organization of workshops and seminars on research and publication to improve upon tutors' ability to publish per our status as a tertiary institution. Again, some tutors were sponsored to attend the just-ended Colleges of Education Research Conference. It is our hope that they will also train other tutors to improve on their research base. College has provided 500 tables and chairs for our lecture halls to improve on academic work. Again, head of department officers have been refurbished to motivate tutors to en enable them work effectively. ICT labs have been resourced to ensure the integration of ICT in all courses and the provision of internet access. The college has smart balls in all lecture halls to make lessons practical and engaging. College has enrolled all TVET tutors in the ongoing competency-based training program to make them effective in carrying out our core mandate as a TVET institution. Quality Assurance Unit has been improved to ensure quality standards of all activities and programs. The guidance and counseling unit is also very effective. Every student now has an academic counselor. The college has completed walling of the campus to improve security and to prevent strangers from entering the college at any time. Security personnel of the college have been trained to make them effective in carrying out their duties. 
we have also provided toilet facilities at the main security post to keep personnel at post always. CCTV cameras have been provided on campus to improve on security. I can now comfortably sit in my office and monitor whatever goes on at the halls, library, kitchen, ICT lab, administrating block, and the main entrance. Some college infrastructure have been improved and this include renovation and re-roofing of some staff bungalows to make staff comfortable to be able to carry out academic and non-academic activities well. There has also been a provision of an eight-seater toilet facility, an installation of a clock-in machine at the college entrance to monitor and improve staff attendance to work, completion of a two-story hostel funded by GetFan to help solve some accommodation problems on campus, though not totally solved, thanks to the government for the initiative to begin the construction of a 300 capacity hostel for the college. We want to use this opportunity to appeal to the government to help complete our three-story hostel block. As part of our community service, the college has established a sewing center to support members of the community. A tutor of the college and an attendant have been attached to the center. We want to use this opportunity to invite community members to enroll in the program. We hope to extend this in future to cover carpentry and welding training. College plans to use IGF to construct an 18-unit lecture hall to help solve our problem with lecture halls, as the college now have four-year groups. We also hope to organize special training programs, seminars for management and staff to make them more effective as tertiary TVET institution. We hope to reconstruct the top part of the administration block, which got bent in April 2021. We want to use this opportunity to appeal to the government and other stakeholders to come to our aid. Some of the challenges we face as a college are the delay in payment of fees by students, which affect the IGF of the college, insufficient lecture halls for students, and the lack of auditorium. This has compelled the college to organize programs under tents. As a result of this, the college hopes to construct an auditorium as our centenary project. We are therefore calling on the government, alumni, and all stakeholders to support us make this dream a reality. MAMTEC is unique. The uniqueness is in producing competent technical cell teachers for the college. Morale that MAMTEC has won old school reunion consistently. And as at now, MAMTEC is the champion of old school reunion. Apart from that, we have other um, achievements in sporting activities, hockey, um, football, and athletics. I'm highly enthused to invite all stakeholders, the government, NGOs, head of institutions, colleagues, and philanthropists to come and celebrate the 100 years with us. I'm inviting all Matkosa fraternity, Kumase branch, Accra, and the national to come and support to make the program a massive one. The men action. The men. The men action. The men. The men action. The men action. Mamtech is 100. Mamtech is 100 years. Hooray. <laughs>